One banana, one, 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 one bag of potatoes. Yes, one on all of these items here. The dinner options are endless with the fresh veggies at this produce stand. I'm going to do a, like a big salad with uh, some chicken. Now you might not know it by looking at this gorgeous crop, but the makings of a salad are a precious commodity in this neighborhood. I have never seen anything like this where it's so difficult to have uh, amenities, basic amenities like a grocery store. On Montbello's main drag, Peoria Street, you'll find every fast food restaurant known to man. What you won't find is a grocery store for four miles. The next one, nearly eight miles away. I mean, I don't have no choice. I mean, there's no choice. Either I have to go to the 20 minutes one or the 20 to the 26. Locals tell us this family dollar is currently one of Montbello's best options for groceries. For folks that live nearby, a lot of them are in apartments and don't have access to a car. And so it's a quick fix. Um, so that's what you know, they wind up feeding their families. So um, it is something, but it's it's not enough. When Safeway closed its doors in 2014, a group of concerned neighbors took action, forming the Montbello Organizing Committee, dedicating themselves to getting healthy options to their community of 35,000. One out of two children in the community experiences food insecurity. Uh, they may only get one or two meals a day based on uh, their family's um, eligibility for free and reduced lunches, so they may be eating at school. Number one. Through produce stands and farmer's markets. Okay, we'll know that you're next. MOC produces and gives out 10,000 pounds of food every summer. But there's a bigger picture here. We want the grocery store to be closer to that end. The MOC is working on bringing a full-fledged grocery store back to their community. The group recently won a $650,000 bid for this 67,000 square foot plot of the former RTD Park and Ride location. This community has a lot of wonderful people that struggle. They, everything is a struggle from paying bills to keeping a roof over their homes. But they are vibrant and they are humble and they are hopeful and I just love that. That, that makes me want to work even harder. Once everyone has gone through, you will be permitted to make a second turn. The group is still about two years out and $30 million away from their independent community-owned grocery store coming to fruition. But in the meantime, these community warriors are using every every tool at their disposal to feed their neighbors. I'm grateful, very grateful. So when the site is complete, it will not only be a grocery store, but also a cultural hub, including a theater, classrooms, and 120 units of affordable housing. MOC is currently appealing to private investors, applying for tax credits and government grants to get this store built. They tell us they plan to open their doors sometime in 2021.